How do mirrors work in a lucid dream? Well, mirrors are a strange thing because they are built obviously as everything is from your subconscious expectation of how it should behave. So mirrors in waking life, obviously, you know, they always reflect the same thing, right? There's never any room for error. And if you look at something in a mirror and then look away and then look back at the mirror, it's always gonna be the same. It never changes, right? Well, in a lucid dream, mirrors always change. And it's much like text. If you look at text in a lucid dream and then look away and look back, it always looks somehow different or distorted or blurred or twisted up or whatever. So you can actually use mirrors to help you become lucid right by every time you're looking in a mirror do a reality check okay a mirror is a great place to put a reminder like a sticker or a note just to remind you to do lucid dreaming reality checks and just to remind you to ask yourself are you dreaming because when you look in a mirror in a dream it will always appear weird or distorted if you don't believe me just try this for yourself i've had one particular lucid dream where i was looking in a mirror and I saw myself, I saw my reflection, reflection that I obviously recognized to be me, but then I looked away and when I looked back, it was just somehow completely different. The whole image had shifted and distorted and I was, you know, my head was just a skeleton and I had like this weird black jacket on and it was really strange. And at the time I wasn't actually that lucid. I was sort of in the middle of the States, but still that's kind of a weird thing, right? And obviously if I was more clued up back then, I could have used that as a reality check to bring me more lu more lucidity. I could have looked at that and thought, hold on, that's slightly weird. I should be looking exactly the same in the mirror. You know, I don't just age 30 years in two seconds. And then I would have done a reality check and I would have become more lucid. So in your next lucid dream, and in all lucid dreams from now on, try and look in mirrors as much as you can try and see what the dream is trying to tell you through the mirror and also try and just use it as a reminder to do a reality check try and use mirrors as a prompt or a trigger because you can always find mirrors you can always find reflective surfaces in dreams they're all over the place you walk down the road you've got you know 10,000 cars laying on the side of the road look in the mirrors of those cars if you walk down the road and there's shops you can look in the street in the shop windows at your reflection right if you're near water you can look down at the water and your reflection will be there there are always mirrors to look at and they are a really good way of doing reality checks because they're everywhere right so try and put a reminder sticker what i would advise you to do okay is in your house on most of the reflective surfaces you have like so not all of them obviously because that would be insane but in your if you have a mirror in your bedroom the mirror in your bathroom and anything else that's reflective that you look at often like for example say if you have a microwave that's got a silver finish on the front of it put stickers that just say am i dreaming or are you dreaming and these reminder stickers will be a great way of doing reality checks whenever you see them this lovely reality check sticker that i had designed which is which is just like a reminder it's just a reminder sticker that says, are you dreaming? And you know, you can get these on my website, I think, or if not, the link will be in the description somewhere, but you can make your own. You can use post-it notes. You can, you can use whatever you want. Just put them on reflective surfaces and you know, get yourself to ask the question, am I dreaming? Done.